parents spoke and lawmakers listened. Today, a bill was introduced at the state capitol calling for a reduction in mandatory student testing. But some parents say it doesn't go far enough. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez talking to one mom who's still furious about a school district's handling of her request to opt her son out of testing. Lance, she said they told her her son couldn't go to school that day. And, and Christine Krumholz didn't take no for an answer. She emailed the superintendent and the Colorado Department of Education. The principal relented and said students not taking the test could come to school, but they had to stay in a conference room. It's over testing. It's a societal problem. It's not just here in Colorado. It's a societal problem. Christine Krumholz says her kids are getting stressed out by all the tests they have to take. Governor John Hickenlooper agrees. He's supporting a bill that would reduce the number of tests for K through third grade students and eliminate nearly all testing for 11th and 12th graders. We acknowledge the anxiety about testing. Uh, that there's no reason to turn back. The governor says he wants to be clear that although the number of tests will be decreased, the state will continue to hold teachers and school districts accountable for educating kids. And we want to make sure that we don't let the politics of the moment undermine what is in the long term best interests of our children or to uh, or undermine more than a decade's worth of hard work. The governor says his son asked him if he could opt out of the park test. So he told him life is full of tests. Don't worry about it. Take the test and learn where you need to focus. Krumholtz has a different take on PARC, which stands for Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. I'm not concerned about that right now, and especially for an elementary. High school is a different story. And Krumholtz says that, that school districts should do a much better job of informing parents which tests are required and which ones they can opt their students out of. In Centennial, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.